Hello, welcome to today's show. This is Heart to Heart and my name is Lisa Kamikazi. Today is an exciting time because we are coming to the end of this year. 2023 is actually at the end. And I want to ask you, as you are watching today's show, to actually reflect on this year, what this year has been like for you. Has it been a great year? Has it been a challenging year? And as we look at those uh, times we have spent, let it be a time for us to actually reflect and think of what we can do better in the year we're about to start. But I think the most important thing we can do in such a season is actually to look back and be grateful. Because yes, there are things we want to do differently. Yes, there are things we are looking forward to in the year to come. But we are also grateful that we have made it here. There are people who wanted to see today and they never saw this day. There are people who are in a situation where actually they are struggling so much, but you are following me. You are alive. You are breathing. So we have so many things to be grateful for. So as we start today's show, let's watch this song of Medi, Grateful, and I'm coming back. This is Heart Heart Show.
Yes. So that's Medi. That's how he's grateful. And I hope as you listen to that song, you feel like grateful too, because as I said, it's a great thing to be alive. So many people wanted to be alive today, but they never saw today. So as we think about gratitude, we also asked a few people what they think about this season and what are they grateful for. So we went to Kigali Heights again and we asked people, what are you grateful for? So let's watch people we talk to and see what they are grateful for in this year. Well, yes, there are lots of things to be grateful for. I mean, first of all, I'm in a different country. Um, being personal, I didn't think about being here two, three years ago. So the journey has been, it's not been easy, but it's been, it's been one to think back and be like, okay, I think I'm doing something right and I'm proud of myself. So it's been a great year. I'll say that, it's been a great year. Actually, a lot. I'm so grateful. First of all, I get to be in Mayatsu. Um, I get to meet different people because I've worked my internship in different places. I've met different people from different places. And the first thing that I'm grateful for is that I'm healthy. I can still work and I'm fine. Yes. I'm grateful that I've not been declining. I'm grateful I've been going ahead in life. So, yeah, that's, that's something to be grateful for. I'm grateful for the all achievements that I made in this year. I'm finishing my high school, having a job, uh, meeting new people, yeah. Okay, let me start with a, a brief testimony. Um, like uh, a week ago, I, 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 I fell sick. I never fall sick, but this time I, I fall sick and I, ha I had to go to the hospital. And, and the crazy thing was, in the few transitioning of it, you know, sometimes you don't, you don't always count on your blessings until there's one that happens. So that time I, I went to the hospital with my friend Kiki and when we were talking about love and life, uh, someone asked me, where are you? I was like, I'm in the hospital. They were like, what? You were in the hospital? So I want to cover your bill. I was like, why? I, I'm at the hospital. Why are you cut up for my bill? They're like, no, I want to cover your bill. Tell me how much. <laughs> so I, I tell them how much and they send exactly the very amount. So I was like, okay, this this is God showing me love through another person. So, like, actually, that expression of love touched my heart this year. It was the best thing I ever had and seen in life, in action, love in action, you know. Yeah, that's it. Yes, so that's what they're grateful for. But how about the things they kind of regret? What are the things they feel like they would have done differently? Let's follow. Honestly, if there's one thing I regret, I think I disconnected with a lot of people because I had to really focus on myself and I kind of neglected some relationships that are a bit precious to me and it's just something I want to turn over next year, try to build more meaningful, try to build more connections with people that mean a whole lot to me. Yeah, that's, that's one thing I wish. Yeah. We, we have to all be kind, so when I get angry and I don't talk in a, in a good way to my friend, that makes me very sad. So yeah, let's all be kind. It's very nice. Nah, I don't live with regrets. I don't like regrets. I just believe it's going to get better. Everything happens for a reason. Yeah, I want to work hard. Just work hard. Yeah, working hard. I, I think uh, everybody got some, some ups and downs. And so my down was um, I... I I normally reach people through music uh, and uh, this, this year has so fast gone and I didn't share much in Kigali as I used to but uh, I love to share my heart, God's heart in me through music, through compassion, through, through generosity and all those kind of things. So I don't think I did as a maximum to me as I used to. So next year I better do it harder and do it well. Yeah. But these same people also have things they're looking forward to. There are things they're excited about the new year. Let's watch. More life, more happiness, more um, love, more positivity, more strength, you know, to go through the ups and downs of life. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm looking forward to. Yeah. Thank you so much. So my new goals, let me call them goals next year, uh, to work on myself first, uh, to love people and to help. Yeah, I'll increase on that because we all have many things to, uh, to improve, but I guess those are my first three things. Yes. Yeah, I'm usually shy, so I'm trying to like open up and make friends, just be happy. Next year, I'm looking forward to 
meeting many more people, having more fun. The most thing I'm excited about is that uh, Jesus came to give me life and life in abundance. So, and he asked me to do the same. So I'm, I'm ready to pour into someone else's life because um, when, when I was doing uh, theology, they told me that I should also do an impact to some generations. So now, the next year is that I'm going to start impacting and pouring into young generation because uh, they, they lack the mentorship and the discipline and discipleship. So that's my aim next year. I'm going to open up um, a project that will help people to come and sharpen themselves as iron sharpens iron. So I'm ready to sharpen another man to be the better man God has created them to be. That's it. So those are the people we talked to, but how about you? Are you grateful? Do you have any regrets? Are you looking forward to some things in the coming year? I think it's a great time to be alive. There, is, there are so many things that are evolving in this time. Yes, there are, we have it, our own challenges, but it's a great time to be alive. And today uh, on our Heart to Heart show, we also want you to go through some highlights of what we actually shared with you as Love Stories of Jesus. So don't go and follow Heart to Heart highlights. This life is so miserable. I, I'm like, what's the point of even living this type of lifestyle? If you can really work hard today and then lose everything tomorrow, if you can really put all your energy and everything, and then, then something comes and takes it, take it away. So I questioned all those kind of stuff. So I started to have like those, I felt like I wasn't really, even like being in that environment, still not opening up to anyone. I started to even entertain those suicidal thoughts. I'm like, Aww. I don't feel like this life is even worth living. Mm. If no one is in control of it, I'm like, so God wanted to break me to that point where I need someone else who's in control of my life mm. aside from me. So how did he come through for the sake of time? Because I'm aware that we're running out of time. Uh, how did he come through in that time of, of you being desperate and feeling like life doesn't make any sense? How did he come so, through? So um, Massacre Creamery was founded by John Potter. Mm. John worked in Rwanda as a consultant for many years, but then felt a calling from God to make an impact. And when he listened to the calling, the calling was make an impact on the deaf community in Rwanda. So he went back to America and then he came back to Rwanda looking for how could he be able to make an impact on the deaf community in Rwanda. So, just fast forwarding to when I hit this dead end, I was feeling empty. I was really feeling empty and the truth is, it was 31st December um, for the Toto Church. Uh, we had what we call the all night scene as we get into the new year. Mm. I was there with my siblings and friends. So I would come to the you know place where I was seated, try to join in and I was feeling empty, I wasn't connecting. Then I would go into the studio, Power FM, Uganda, where I used to work at that time. We used to have the top 40 songs of the year, countdown till midnight. And we're in there with all the different show hosts and you know radio presenters. I would try to join in with the team we would be talking about the entire you know journey of the entire year what happened you know the highlights and so on and i was feeling like i'm lost i can't connect with these people as mm, well because you are living a double life yeah mm. it was crazy like i was it was something i hadn't felt in my life so in that brokenness mm. that bitterness and forgiveness and it's awful to imagine for a child to having to grow without a parent and a sister and as you're mentioning she was beating you but I, I imagine she was also doing it was she doing she was thinking maybe that's a way to discipline you she was trying to be a responsible uh, uh, you sister. know sister was but like that was breaking you even more so in that kind of brokenness how then did you really find the love of God I, I know the story but I want to hear it again I want you to share with people how how did the love of God find you and fill you to the point where now the people who know Frida can never actually think, I think I that you ever lived a life of hating people because you are so loving, you're so giving. You just gave me a gift a minute ago. <laughs> you're so, you know, generous, so compassionate. How, what happened? But I want you to share in one minute what kind, what is the most beautiful transformation or impact Christ has brought up in your life? Um, um, prophecy. Um, God has spoken to me through 
uh, so many extent and that fortified me, fortified me, mm. fortified. Uh, that <laughs> gave me strength and mm. courage um, to move on. Um, if you're there, I believe that God has uh, spoken to you so many times. Maybe you haven't heard, but I just pray that you open your heart and let him speak into your life. And that will give you strength to, to carry on. He spoke to me so many times. and One of the most beautiful things he spoke to you, do you want to share with us? Um, he told me to sing. Mm, and now you sing. <laughs> now beautiful. I sing. Yes, those were the highlights of Heart to Heart this year. But we have a message, a special message from God for you and us. And this message is about love. You know, here in Heart to Heart, we are all about love, the love of God through Christ. And God's message to us as we start a new year is all about love. God is reminding us that the highest form of worship is actually love. I think it's about time that we realize that as singing, if we can sing and dance and think that's just worship, I think we, we are missing out on the true meaning of worship. That's part of worship. We can sing, we can dance. But if we go back in our homes and we are not changed and we are not loving people where we are at, at, at work or in our neighborhoods, we are not really worshiping God. So the message God has for me and you as we start a new year is all about love. He's calling us to love. He's calling us to worship him by loving, loving him. The Bible tells me that we should love God with all our hearts, with all our minds, with all our strength, with everything in us. But not just that love our neighbors like we love ourselves that's what god is calling us me and you for he's calling us to walk in love and that's the highest form of worship so if i if you forget everything i said remember that the highest form of worship is love and we can see that in the book of first corinthians chapter 13 where the bible talks about love in details so in chapter 13 verse 1 it says if i speak in tongues of men or of angels, but do not have love. I am only a resounding gong or a clanging cymbal. But if I have the gift of prophecy and can fathom all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have faith that can move mountains but do not have love, I am nothing. If I give all I possess to the poor and I give over my body to hardship that I may boast, but do not have love, I gain nothing. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It's not self-seeking. It's not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. That's love. That's what love does. And on the last verse here in verse 13, it says, and now these three remain, faith and hope and love. But the greatest of these is love. So if you are following, God is calling you and me for love. And as we start a new year, that's the message we have received from God. For you who's watching, because God knows exactly who's going to be watching and when and where. So God is calling you to walk in love. We are starting a new year. There will be great things in a new year. And when you get joyful time, remember the, the Lord, remember him and worship him and walk in love. But even when you get through challenges, if you face things that challenge you, remember the Lord, remember love and worship him. He's calling us to worship him throughout the whole year. And by worshiping him, he means loving. Let the songs we sing and the dances be like a final version of our worship but we have already worshiped through how we relate with others the way we walk the way we talk the way we act let us walk in love and when we sing and when we dance let it be a time to actually express the love that we have for one another and we have for our lord and savior so happy new year of 2024 we pray that the lord will bless you that the Lord will open up doors for you, that the Lord will carry you through the whole year, that the Lord will keep you safe, that the Lord will see you through for his glory and for the salvation of the world. We love you so much. Shalom, shalom. If you want to give your life to Christ today, pray this prayer with me. Dear Lord Jesus, today I open up my life to you. 
I open up my heart to you to come and be Lord over every aspect of my life. Come and be Lord over my thoughts, my words, my relationships, my actions, my finances, my everything. Lord Jesus, be Lord. I ask you to forgive me of all my sins and write my name in the book of life. Fill me with your Holy Spirit and give me the grace to follow you and serve you for all my life until the day you will come to take me back home and spend eternity with you. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. If you have made that prayer, you have done an incredible thing. That is a decision that you will never regret. So tell others about it. Tell your friends and find a church, find a community of believers, start growing, start learning the Bible, feed on the word of God, grow up and see God achieve his purposes in your life. Welcome in the family of God. We love you so much. Shalom. I know I mess up all the time I'll never be perfect for you No Believe and pray that's all I can Right now Crying for you Waiting for you to come Set me free Be with me Walk with me Every day I'm pushing harder and harder It's not working Hear me one more time Holy Spirit Holy Spirit Be my friend all the time Again, can you see me? Say a word, I believe I'll be changed. I need another change. Would you please be my God? I lost my way. Come and take me back. I want to sing my song. Please sing with me Hallelujah I'm pushing harder and harder It's not working Hear me one more time Holy Spirit
See you. 